Welcome again. A solar cell converting light energy to electrical energy. In green plants or autotrophic organisms, it is light from the sun that is used or fixed in the process of photosynthesis. In this way, we say light energy is converted into chemical energy. But not all of that energy is made available to the first level consumers or the heterotrophic organisms. Energy is passed to detritivores like earthworms and to saprotrophs like this fungus. Some energy is also lost as plants carry out their own respiration. In this way, only a small fraction of the energy fixed by autotrophic organisms is passed on to first level consumers or heterotrophs. Biologists wanted a closed system mesocosm like this one, to include a range of autotrophs, producers, and some first-level consumers like Daphnia, and a few second-level consumers. Where could he acquire the data to determine what amounts of plants to include and what numbers of heterotrophs could be supported by this number of autotrophs? One way to Acquire this information is to determine the pyramid of biomass, which shows the amount of energy fixed by green plants in photosynthesis, the autotrophic organisms, where this energy is expressed as grams of tissue per meter squared of area, bearing in mind that mass can be converted into energy and the metric unit of energy is the joule. The pyramid of biomass shows only the amount of matter at a given time. It only shows a standing crop. And for real ecosystems where seasonal changes affect productivity, then it is necessary to consider the amount of mass or energy that is fixed by a particular level, whether that level be the autotrophs or the producers or the first level heterotrophs, but the amount of energy per unit of area over an extended period of time. And when we consider this, productivity or energy is then expressed in the units of joules or kilojoules per square meter of area, per unit of time, like a year. A rule of thumb is that only about 10% of the energy fixed by autotrophs is made available to the first level consumers. And then only about 10% of that energy is made available to the second level consumers. With significant amounts of losses happening due to consumption in respiration and losses as heat. Bear in mind also that some of this energy that is fixed by autotrophs is passed to a decomposer, which is not included in this particular pyramid. But it is important to realize that the 10% rule is simply a rule of thumb. And for many ecosystems, the flow of energy and the efficiency of energy transfer from autotrophs to first level consumers and then to second level consumers varies significantly. And most often, textbooks do not include proper units for the energy pyramids, including simply energy per area and not including energy per area per unit of time. Another shortcoming that is shown in the literature is scale of these diagrams do not reflect the amount of energy supplied by a particular level. Take here, for example, that this first level of energy fixation by autotrophic organisms or green plants, it is 874,900 kilojoules per square meter per year. If we brought out our ruler, 
which unfortunately measures in inches, we would see that this particular block measures about 18.5 inches. And if that is the case, how big should the second block be? The block that represents energy passed to first level consumers. Stop here and try to work out the answer for yourself. When you think you know the answer, advance the video to have a look at my calculations. This number here is the amount of energy fixed by the autotrophic organisms. And this is the amount of energy passed to first level consumers. This value is the actual length of this box in the units of centimeters. And this value here would be the length of the box for the first level consumer. It's the unknown. To solve for it, we must cross multiply, getting to this relationship. Then solving for the unknown, it comes to an answer of 5.1 centimeters, which now means we must measure out 5.1 centimeters and make this block 5.1 centimeters in size. And that would look something like this. Now I would like you to use this data to complete the pyramid of energy.